860. And there's Chris Anderson from White Township, the White Township manager on the phone with us this morning for our conversation, which is brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Chris, good morning. Good morning, Todd. How are you today? Wonderful. It's good to have you on the air with us here today. We talk about White Township issues, uh, and, and well, I guess we've got some issues along the roadways, huh? You had some projects that have to be put off a day because of the weather. Yeah, we have, um, we had a couple issues pop up on us. The first one being a, uh, a large sewer repair just up the street here from our office. So we did delay that a day, um, due to the thunder shower risk today, but, um, it's a big, it's a big repair. It's, it's, a, it's, it's big, um, in a sense that it's deep. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts to this project and it, it's going to be, once we start the project, we're going to have to finish it. So that's kind of adds a whole, whole other dimension to it, that it's going to be, uh, um, you know, start to finish, we have to go. So then, uh, that's on the sewer side, on the road side, we have a couple cross pipe stormwater projects that kind of are some hot buttons right now that we need to repair. We mm-hmm. need to close down Barkley Road and North 6th Street. So lots of activity. Yeah, really. So those, let's get back to Indian Springs Road. Now, how long is that going to take, and what's the impact on traffic? So the plan is um, close one lane down of Indian Springs. So this would be the west tra- the westbound traveling lane right before you get to Rustic Lodge Road. The... The intent is to start at 7 a.m. and be finished sometime that evening. Um, the contractor did get light plants if they need to proceed into the evening hours. Uh, we have the lighting available, but ho- hopefully we, could, we can get it done in the daylight hours. All right. Uh, so Barkley Road, what's the time frame for it? It's probably just a half a day. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And North Sixth Street—that's a biggie. Yeah, it's like a thirty, thirty to forty foot section across pipe. Um, I, that would be probably half a day, better part of a day. All right. So, so those are some some areas where people would probably be best just to avoid them if there's another way to get to wherever it is they want to go. They don't want to get hung up in traffic, and uh, and and it would just be better all around. But. Uh, we can work our way through that. Um, are there other road issues within uh, White Township that we need to be aware of? Um, not really, for the most part. Um, so most of our paving work is complete. I think I mentioned on the radio before we're, we're going to be moving on to McHenry Road and Risinger Road. Um, McHenry Road getting some cross pipes, some stormwater work, and then a, a, a little bit of patch pavement. And then uh, Risinger Road will be putting some some piping in. Uh, a little bit of curbing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so those those are some of the road projects that we're thinking about in in White Township. I want to talk a little bit, if we could, about uh, the White Township Recreation Complex uh, because I know that uh, we're in the midst of uh, a transition to from season to season. There's still a lot to do outside, tons of things to do outside, and, and that will continue, but uh, you're getting inside the building there at the s t bank arena getting that thing rolling too huh yeah i mean this this i think this past week or last weekend we held some uh, state tournament baseball um we have over 40 baseball league kicking off and we're transitioning into ice right now um you know it's always it comes earlier every year it seems but here we are um almost mid-august uh iup hockey team will be moving back in We'll kick off some mice programs. So, yeah, lots of activity going on outside and inside. Is the sheet down yet? Um, it. Will, I don't know. I got to be honest. I was on vacation last week, and I just got back in the saddle yesterday. And I think <laughs> I do believe it was going down. I don't know if it's fully finished yet or, or yeah, not. Yeah. Hey, we've heard some things about uh, when when that building opened up. Of course, there were two sheets of ice in there. Uh, and, and the one, as you're walking in the one on the right, I guess is the easiest way to put it. Uh, that has been used for other purposes for a number of years. And, and we've heard about some, some interest from folks in in doing some different things on that right side. Uh, uh, but that's a really, really versatile, um, venue for, for folks, isn't it? It is. We, we've talked, um, in house here a little bit about some flooring options to make that area a little more conducive to, 
everything it, from from soccer to pickleball to tennis to basketball, things like that. Um, but um, what we have looked at a second ice sheet over the years. Um, it, there's there's certainly demand there during peak season, mm-hmm. uh, but. You know, but it's something that, yeah, we continue to look at options. As, as we get more and more kids involved in different activities, we, we try to keep up and, and look at the options available for us and how to best use that space. Yeah, that's one of the interesting things to me about that uh, is that for the whole complex, really, the different uses uh, that uh, are afforded there uh, and, and the possibilities, uh, those all have to be balanced off against the cost of uh, not only getting things rolling if you decide to make a change, but then maintaining uh, that can become prohibitive, and and you all of that has to be weighed when you make decisions like that, and and big decisions. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, the the amphitheater idea uh, that's going forward, isn't it? Well, we um, it's going forward in a sense that we're looking for funding, mm-hmm. and we have several grant applications out there right now to the state, um, looking looking for funding, and. A lot of those applications could take into, um, you know, take into consideration some of our match work, um, some of the in-house labor we can do to make that happen. Um, we have heard positive things from um, the grant reviewers, uh, so hope we're still, you know, we're still hopeful that, that that's kicking off. Yeah, yeah. So that would be an interesting development if that could happen. But that really does illustrate uh, that uh, uh, it's it's those are all big decisions. Uh, that have to be made and um, whether you go forward with something uh, and, and are able to fund it and able to maintain it, uh, that has to be a part of that whole decision-making process. Chris Anderson is with us, the White Township Manager. Um, planning Commission meeting tonight? Yeah, Planning Commission uh, meeting this evening. Um, pretty quiet. Uh, nothing really, nothing moving on that agenda. Um, supervisors meeting tomorrow. Um, so, it, so it's a, a busy meeting week. Yeah, yeah, and that'll be the afternoon meeting, correct? Yeah, tomorrow's at 1 o'clock. Planning commission this evening is 6 o'clock. Anything big for the supervisors tomorrow? Um, no. Just typical business. <laughs> typical business this time of the year. Yeah, yep. yeah, and, and uh, while we are here in the month of August and only the beginning of August, we don't want to rush along the uh, winter season uh, too soon, but uh, you have to begin to think about things uh, for when the weather begins to turn and uh, you're getting in materials for the winter, taking a look at the uh, the equipment that you'll be using this winter and uh, making an inventory. And, and I know that you, you start that process pretty early, don't you? Yeah, we, we've started looking at a couple different things. And the first one being some of our plow routes. Um, we've talked to some staff here and looked at um, plow routes, just making sure they're the, the most fuel efficient they can be. Um, you know, fuel prices right now are up. Um, the second thing is the salt contracts, making sure that we get the best price on the salt contract. Um, another thing I would mention is we, we did put out for auction some equipment, and it includes a loader and actually a F550 plow truck. And there's been a lot of interest from other municipalities with that 550 plow truck because, as we talked earlier in the year, the you know the difficulty of getting some of these vehicles. Um, so it's not only White Township that's that's kind of looking for options for the winter. Other municipalities are as well now. Going to make it a seller's market on that, huh? I'm hoping. <laughs> well, why not? Uh, and uh, if you can. If you can turn it around and get something good out of it, that's that's a good deal for White Township. All right, Chris, anything else we need to pass along to folks today? Nope, I think we're good. Beautiful. Hey, thanks for getting through to us this morning. We appreciate it. Yep, no problem, Todd. I'll, uh, I'll catch you later. Have a great day. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS. WCCS.